How do we resolve the issues of young people? How many people, young people in this here room here are of the age of marriage? Please, let me see a sign of hands. You probably don't even need to raise your hand, all of y'all. Who's, who's, who's of the age of marriage? I didn't say you want to get married, you, you, got, you, you engage to be married. I mean, if you're of the age of marriage. Now, for a young man, the age of marriage came at a time when you and your father know. I know when my son got to the age of marriage. I know exactly the first time I knew that he came to the age of marriage. It was early in the morning. And of course, we know when our daughters get to the age where we have to prepare them for marriage. Because the Prophet saw him, he said that. So, we can talk about don't do this and don't do that and lower your gaze and guard your modesty and we can put blankets down in the middle of the room and all kinds of things, you know, but where's the solution? Where's the solution? Somebody has to tell these hundreds of people thousands of young Muslims male and female who want to get married right now how they can get married but there's nobody with the solutions and so as a result of that we got sisters upstairs who are 30 35 virgins family holding them back from marriage got brothers 25, 30, 35 years old, walking around and looking at all these naked women and talking about, inshallah, you know, when you find the right one, I'm going to get married. <laughs> no, it's very simple. It's not, it's not economics. It's not economics. Because my son got his own room in my house. He don't have to go out and get his own rochinette. He don't have to find his own house or whatever, no. He gets married and bring his wife home to live with me until they become stable. Or his wife, his prospective wife, she has her own room in her house, in her family's house. She marries, they get married, my son goes live with them or she come live with us. They don't need to have no jobs. They don't need to have no money. And if they go into school together, that's beautiful. At least they can get married. They can sleep together, be together, enjoy themselves like their mom and dad does. And then they go to school together and come back together. Isn't that a solution? Yes. That means that almost everybody can get married right now. <laughs> but we got to move the culture out of the way. You got to move the cultural thinking out of the way. The mothers and fathers got to think for their children what they think for themselves. How can a mother and a father every night be together enjoying themselves and their sons and their daughters in the room by themselves looking at pornography and stuff like that? SubhanAllah. Now don't say I don't do that. You probably don't do that. But there's a good deal of Muslim men and women that are doing that because they're frustrated. We have to find the solutions for them.